Hello and welcome to another Wolf Time gaming video. Today we're sticking with Star Wars Legion and we're following on from last week's video when we painted Inferno Squad. We're now going to give them someone to fight against, uh, one of the rebel squads in the form of Clan Wren. However, I'm not going to paint them that way, I'm going to do something a little bit different and we're going to look at painting them as Clan Cries or Cry, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Um, but they're gonna, if you've seen uh, Mandalorian, you'll have seen Bo-Katan in that with a, a couple of her troopers. And it's essentially those. You have also would have seen them in Rebels and also the Clone Wars as well. Before we get started on that painting though, as usual, let's get that kettle on. So if you've seen any of the videos before, you'll know the first thing we want to do is give them a really good base coat. You will note this time I've used a little bit of sand. It's just a fine sand that you can get from you know any sort of hardware store or anything like that. Just on the bases and I've just stuck that down with PVA glue before actually spraying them. The flight stands obviously we can't spray because they're clear so I've left them as they are. I'm just going to paint the colours straight over the top there. Um, the, the base coat I did use is the Games Workshop's Grey Seer, as, as I've done with many of the other videos. But the first thing we're going to do, if you look at the reference images, um, or the image just on the, the left of the screen there, the like underclothes, the, you know, the actual sort of jumpsuit that she's wearing, is like a blacky grey colour. So we're going straight in there with Games Workshop's uh, Contrast Black Templar, which if you've watched my videos before, you'll know it's my go-to. And you really just want to take your time to pick out all of the details underneath everything essentially and just go around with a, a, a really um, fine tip brush you can see here uh, I've, I've completed it now I've put all the the actual black on there I've included the weapons in that as well so we're going to just highlight those with a silver so we'll turn them into slightly different color uh, for the actual pistols but the rest of it is essentially done and we just uh, go around all the armor if you do go over any of the armor pieces just grab a you know a little bit of gray sear in a pot or you know grab some uh, a white paint um, and you can just touch up those areas and just neaten them out a little bit so the the belt that you can see there is like a brown sort of a color and i've got a really nice mid brown that i always go for called contrast wildwood um it's really really easy to use and you just drop it on there and you don't have to do any sort of shading or highlighting with it it looks absolutely fantastic um, and it's not far off the color that you could see on the reference image as well i have noticed that uh, there's a few, couple of little brown areas just on her shoulders as well so on bo-katan's shoulders but i'm not going to go for that um i'm just going to do the actual belt itself and the holsters um because i think that it'll it'll stand out really really nicely from the rest of the model once done so the the armor is like a gray silvery color so that's what i'm going with i'm using contrast basilicum gray uh, just to pick out the armor and also the jetpacks as well and i'm doing that on uh, on all the models i know obviously i'm concentrating on the sort of squad leader model here that i'm modeling off bo katan herself um but all the models will be done in a very very similar way uh, and we're just using this basilicum gray to drop straight onto there um drop into the recesses really nicely you'll also notice that there is a few little gray areas on the the trousers now on some of the models these are mod like on there and others they're not so you know you just need to keep an eye out for for that on, on when uh, when you want to include it uh, the next color we're going on to is the blue is the armor itself and i'm using altdorf guard blue now i've used like a 50 50 sort of mix here just with it with a little bit of medium uh, just to water it down slightly essentially and what this does it allows it to drop onto the model a little bit nicer it is a layer paint so it's quite thin anyway it's not not a thick base uh, base paint um, but it's very different to to the contrast paints and if you've been using contrast paints you'll notice that straight away you know this doesn't drop into the recesses as the contrast paint does um, doesn't add all that shading in and you may need to highlight it as well um, it also may require you to do a couple of coats as well um, you can see on some of the areas you see a lot of that uh, base coat coming through so I, I've personally done two coats of this one as well but really do make sure you water your, this paint down 
You'll also note here that I'm trying to get that effect on the helmet uh, by leaving the front areas, the base coat as well. And you'll see um, when we've added a few other more colours, you'll see it really comes to life. Uh, and the first one we're going to do is now, and we're just going to grab a little bit of grey paint called Dawnstone. Any grey will do, just to sort of get that grey sort of effect. It's like she's got two sort of, they look like L eyes just above her visors. And all we're doing is drawing two circles because from three feet away when you, you're up there on the table, you know, the, it'll look absolutely fantastic and it'll look like it's got some sort of detailing on. You don't have to go mad with this and try and get the exact detailing on there. Um, uh, because like I say, you do, you do stand off on, on it. Now also you'll note that there is like a, a, a black um, sort of V shape, I suppose. Uh, like a bird shape or something just in the centre as well, just above the visor. And we're doing that with a little bit of um, contrast black Templar as well. Now the next thing we're going to do is pick out some of those small silver details as we were talking about earlier. And this is mainly just around, um, there's a couple of sort of... Um, devices just on her belt and this is on all the Mandalorians as well so you want to try and grab those grab a little bit of the silver and I'm using lead belcher for this one um, and also just dry brushing onto the actual weapons itself if you've not done dry brushing before it's really simple where you put a little bit of paint on the brush wipe the majority off and then just catch the the edges um, just on the actual weapons and what this will do is, is give you a, a sort of a, a more metallic effect um, just to go over some of these areas and shade them uh, such as the blue and things like that we're using Nuln oil now I don't use this very often anymore it used to be my go-to to all shading but when we come to contrast paints you don't really need it however with the blue that we've used the Aldorf Guard blue you do need to add some shading on there and I'm using this Nuln oil to do it and it also blends the model really really nicely uh, when we put it on there I've covered the whole helmet with this as well um, because it adds the shading to the, the, the sort of white area on the front um, and also just a little bit around the the actual jetpack as well just to give it a, a little bit more interest just on the base you can see I've just I painted the whole of the base at, uh, at the same time as the um, uh, black un under armor sort of thing the the actual uh, clothing on Bo-Katan uh, in the in the black Templar and then I'm going straight over the top of that now with Dawnstone so the same color as we used a little bit on the helmet earlier just grab that dry brush it on there and it just picks out some of the raised areas as you can see and just to highlight that that one step further you can go with a lighter gray and I'm using Celestra gray for that and you can see straight away it picks out the right the um, you know the really high details the the bits that really protrude from the base and the sand the fine sand works really really well when you use uh, some of this and it does add that little bit of contrast to the base it adds that little bit of detail um, and adds something a bit extra I think and um, the final step is to actually frame the model um, and when we're not putting it on the wall or anything like that but what we're going to do is paint the edge of the base uh, with this contrast black Templar or any black paint really and what it does it makes the rest of the model pop really nicely and you can if you want to stick with the same color um, um, as you've actually painted the you know the material on the bottom of the base uh, and have it all blend together and a lot of people do that uh, but I like to give it a really nice frame of uh, a black and I do that with all of my models that I paint I always do that if you do use black Templar around the base just make sure you do two coats because it, it, it does come a you know it's not designed to actually uh, be a base coat or anything like that so it will you, you will see the base um, color come through uh, quite quite brightly now just to finish it off I'm just adding a couple of tufts these are like an alien fire from a game of grass or something like that I think they're really really good and really make the rest of the model pop nicely as you can see here so there we have it Bo-Katan's complete you can see she's you know it's a really quick easy paint scheme yeah it's not going to win any awards or anything like that but it looks absolutely fantastic on the table um, you know you could get the your games in straight away with this uh, and they look fantastic you can do the rest of the squad as well um, you can see them in the background there. I've got a, a better shot coming up in a second, but they look really, really good, and I'm really, really pleased with how they turned out. I think by painting them this as a different clan as well, it's added that little bit of individuality, um, and it's a little bit more uh, thematic on the table as well. You can have these fighting alongside the clones, or you can have them fighting alongside of the Empire. Loads of different scenarios you could do with this one. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Go and check out the channel now for more great content. There's loads of painting videos including Games Workshop, Star Wars and loads of fantasy settings such as Frostgrave and one of my favourites, Boros and Badgers. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.